What is good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Um, hope you guys have been doing great. Um, honestly, I haven't been vlogging for a while because uh, there's really no content for me to make. Or, But good news, uh, my headlights just came in for the, the Vigor. So we're gonna be getting rid of those. Getting rid of those. Sorry. <laughs> it took about like five months to come, but finally it came. So I'm gonna show you guys. Here it is, boys. Look at my address, but. So this is how they look. I got the last pair. Uh, one thing to note: you might, you might need uh, some wire strippers. And some soldering iron, soldering iron or some heat shrink to install these because as you can see in the bottom here they just cut them off of a different car so you're gonna have to splice them off your OEM ones so try not to mess it up just cut it nice and neatly I got these from the Mack truck for like for $60 I believe they come in clutch so yes yeah, so you don't have to do it yourself they just Honestly, I never took these headlights off, so I'm gonna try to figure out. Try not to break it, because they're still, they're still brand new. These are glass, and these actually go for like 400. So I might sell them. I don't know if anybody has an Acura Vigor as well. Um, DM me on Instagram, and I'll give you a price, and I can ship them to you. They're still fairly new. Um, the only bad thing is uh, this side, I believe. This one is like starting to crack. I don't know if you can see it. It still works, though. But. Yeah, so I'm gonna get started on that. All right, um, we're having a little trouble here, but a little tip: if you guys' connectors are like really old, like mine, use some like PB blaster or WD-40. Spray it on there so you don't snap the connectors. Yeah, let it soak up there, and then you can start popping off. If not, you might snap the clips there and you might have to buy new ones and uh, you don't want to do that. Um, yeah, I got the screws out on top, but I just not want to pop out. So I'm gonna keep looking for other screws that may hold it on the bottom and uh, hopefully I can pop it out. All right, um, this is the moment where we're gonna start cutting wires and start splicing them together. Make sure you have a pack of heat shrink. I have a couple in here. I didn't, honestly, you can get them at AutoZone or Wish.com. I know Wish is like, you know trash but <laughs> i was told you can get them at wish like really cheap so i got them a bag full i already use a whole bunch of them for my wiring system but that's what they kind of look like come in a bag i ordered like 300 and i already used most of them already so i'm gonna order some more they take about a week or two to come but trust me it's worth it if you do a lot of electrical work and it's actually comes in clutch so i'm gonna go ahead and start cutting and splashing these together hopefully it turns out great I got it installed. Fitment's a little bit off right now, but that's all right. I still gotta wire everything. Honestly, I already freaking love it, dog. Look how it looks. From that to that, it's a one piece. Just in case you guys are wondering what it will look like. I need to get a focus. That's how it'll be looking like. Just doing uh. Just the connectors first. I found out doing the connectors first, splicing them and then heat shrinking them, then put them to the side, put the light bulb, not the light bulb, the headlamp in, and then sign the bolts down, then put in the, I'm sorry, I can't think of this right now, the connectors. It's super easier. It's less of a headache. Um, they all work, so yeah. Yeah, bad news, that one's out. Um, quite frankly, I kind of don't know how to do that one, or I mean, change the bolt in this. You know, I have screws up here. I'm trying to figure it out. It is a pain to get out. I'm not gonna lie, but hopefully I can figure it out. Um, overall, these are pretty sick headlights. I actually really enjoy them, but they're a pain to install. So I'm trying to get some photo shoots done, and uh, till then, see you guys in the next one. Sheesh. I don't want to wait till tomorrow, so <laughs> I grabbed my DMM, and uh, the bolt's burnt out. First of all, and um, after that, I put in a new bulb. Still didn't work. So then I got my DMM connected to the ground, check for voltage, there was no voltage. So I'm assuming one of the lines were missing and uh, it turns out they were, I guess. I don't know if you, can, you can't see it, of course, but I guess one of the power lines down there was cut by accident when I was installing the headlights. So I just rerouted it to another 
power source to when uh, you turn on the instrumental cluster to turn on the headlights so it will turn on exactly the same time as the other one now both of them are on looks so sick yes sir